Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about how you can pitch to eatingwell.com and get paid to write for that website. Now I know that a lot of you are interested in it, a lot of you com commented on my previous video on 16 websites that pay you to write. Everybody was interested in knowing about eating well. So this is a specific video dedicated to how you can pitch them and what you need to take care before you start pitching. Okay, so let's get started. For those of you who are new to this channel, I am Chavi. I am an online business coach, a YouTuber and a blogger. We create videos on freelancing, working from home and making money online each and every week. So if you haven't already, click on the red icon below and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. The first thing that we need to understand is what is eating well. So Eating Well is a food magazine that not only covers health, nutrition and food, but it also covers a lot of other things, a lot of other things related to food. So for example, the audience is interested in knowing the origins of the food. The audience is also interested in knowing any social cause that is associated to some kind of foods. There's a lot of things that Eating Well covers. So what I want you to do is to understand the kind of articles that Eating Well writes. So you can see on the screen that Eating Well covers, for example, healthy recipes, special diets, diabetes, healthy meal plans, healthy eating, healthy lifestyle, healthy cooking. These are some of the categories that Eating Well writes on and the audience is interested in knowing about these categories. So there are four things that Eating Well wants you to know before you start pitching them for a submission. The first thing is front of the book ideas. That means that you need to pitch them a very small article idea, somewhere around 150 words to 400 words. Even if you are a seasoned writer, this is where they recommend you start. They want you to consider this as a pitch for future work, for future work which is longer than this, okay? A longer article than 400. So remember that the first time you're going to pitch eating well, it's going to be for a smaller article that is up to 500 words only. It's called front of the book idea. The second thing that Eating Well wants you to do is to understand the departments that they have for a freelance writer. So there are three categories that they have defined for a freelance writer. And the first one is good life. For writing under the good life section, you need to have experience as a food writer. Now there are three subcategories to good life. The first one is trending. So anything that is trending right now in health, nutrition and food is covered under this topic. The second one is travel. So for example, if you went somewhere and you loved some food and you would not mind going back there again just to eat that food, they want to hear stories like that. They want to hear travel stories which is food related. And the third thing is current affairs. If there is anything trending right now, if there is anything in the current affairs right now and if you can pitch a topic around that, then they would love to take a look at it. This is the good life section. The second one is good health section. Now this is all about health and nutrition and the one subcategory that they have is fixes. So for example, your article could say these are the kind of foods that can help you relieve allergies. So something that fixes a problem, fixes a health problem is what is covered under good health. And the third one is food stories. Now food stories is all about new recipes. So if you are a food blogger or a food YouTuber or if you love creating new recipes of your own, then you can pitch under the food stories category. So remember which category and which subcategory you are going to pitch them under. The third thing that they want you to do is to look at the past column, past columns for all the three categories that we discussed right now and see how they have framed it, what kind of articles they have and pitch them along the same lines. Now see it is extremely important that you understand what audience they have, how they write it and when they write it to pitch them. Okay, you have to make the job of the editor easier. They are not going to take a look at your pitch if they think that you did not even bother to look at what the website is all about, what the magazine is all about or what the audience wants or what is the general trend they are following for their columns. Okay, it is very important that you understand that. Take out the time to understand that, okay? And the fourth thing that Eating Well wants from you in a pitch is to tell them why they should consider something from you why they should consider the topic that you are pitching. So for example, you should consider this topic X in your September issue because most Americans deal with a problem like this during fall and this could be a very relevant topic in your magazine for the September issue. 
something like that you need to give a very strong reason for them to consider your article for a certain specific issue the more specific that you can get with your pitch the more specific that you can get with your reason the more chances that they are going to respond back to you and pay you to write for them now let's get to the pitching tip so you are going to send your pitch to the email id pitches at eatingwell.com your subject line needs to have exactly this it needs to say eating well magazine pitch hyphen the department or the category that you are pitching them in now they take up to 1 month to respond so if they haven't responded for let's say 2 weeks you can go ahead and follow up with them and send them a gentle reminder now in the body of your article they want you to write 2 to 3 paragraphs about your pitch so what your idea is all about how you're going to present it what you're going to talk about that talk about your idea talk about your pitch for 2 to 3 paragraphs post which you can talk about you as a writer so have you been featured somewhere where else have you written why they should consider you as a poor health nutrition writer do you have a degree do you have something that forces them to consider you as a writer and accept your pitch now do not attach any let me repeat that do not attach your portfolio do not attach a link do not insert any link they want you to tell yourself in the pitch itself so you have words and that's what you have to use to sell yourself as a writer to eatingwell.com this is all about how you can go ahead and get paid writing for eatingwell.com and for those of you who are still wondering how much eatingwell.com pays they pay up to $1 per word if yes. your pitch is accepted so for example for a $500 article the maximum that you can make with eatingwell is $500 so work on your pitch understand eating well and pitch something that blows off their minds they are ready to pay you at least 100 to 200 dollars for anything that you write if you're looking for more websites that pay you to write for them then you can check out this article on 16 websites that pay you to pitch them and submit them an article okay i hope this video was useful and you now understand how you can go ahead and pitch eatingwell.com with a proper pitch I'm also going to link to the submission guidelines in the description box below so you can find that there and everything that I've explained is explained in a much more detailed manner in the submission guidelines itself so go read that before you pitch them okay and I will see you next week guys bye bye